Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the ECM WF 42 Day Sash six week talking about bottle for today's uh, second video. This is your extended European outlook for the UK and Ireland, and I shall guess I'm back for you in a moment. Just to say, back the first video we said is our 6 MBK weather forecast. We've got weekend forecast and 10 14 there on the way. Please like, share, and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. For Gals, both of it. Thank you so much, everyone. Right, I'm going to start off with the uh, mean sea level pressure anomaly for week one, which is next week, taking us from the 8th through to the 15th of July. So we see signs of higher pressure building in uh, next week to the north and to the northeast with low pressure to the south and the west. It should start to pull the wind around into more of an easterly. 500 millibar heights look like that. So still a little bit more unsettled from a 500 millibar perspective. Uh, low pressure to the south and a bit of high pressure is up to the north. Temperature anomalies then uh, next week are coming out uh, rather below average despite wind looking like it should be from more of an easy direction. That's probably due the low pressure still being rather in the ascendancy and it's a wetter than average week as well for england and wales anyway though uh, ireland and scotland are looking somewhat drier there right week two will be the 15th to 22nd of july this looks more promising for some uh, drier warmer weather higher pressure building from the azores high up into northern europe lower pressure getting pushed out towards greenland and iceland and the jet stream looks like it should be going north as well 500 millibar height anomalies show an area of above average heights from the Atlantic into uh, Western and also Northern Europe. Again, with uh, low pressure up towards Greenland and Iceland. Week 2 temperature anomalies are looking like that. So, uh, slightly above average temperatures. Really, I don't get excited about. But um, it's a little bit of a warm-up there going on through the third week of July. Not a heat wave, though. And it's a drier trend as well, becoming drier than average as that ridge extends in from the Atlantic to Northern Europe. Week 3 will be the 22nd, 29th of July. Again, we've got some high pressure here dominating across northern and uh, western parts of Europe. Looks quite encouraging for some uh, drier warm weather. 500 millibar heights looking nice as well with uh, high pressure from the Atlantic into western northern Europe. A couple of weeks of dry and warm weather. Therefore, for the second half of July, temperature anomalies are above average, not by a great deal, only up to about a degree or so above north, but nevertheless, we have to take what we can take, don't we? And it looks quite warm and also it's a little bit drier than normal as well no a dry and warm week three also so unsettled and rather cool to start off week one then drier and warmer for weeks two and three week four will be the 29th of july to 5th of august still showing some sort of anti-cyclonic trend even now but it looks like it's weakening and that uh, high pressure might be starting to shrink a bit let's have a look at 500 millibar heights well that still looks like it's producing a strong and stable ridge though from the atlantic into uh, Western and also Northern Europe. The temperature anomaly is still coming out above average for the UK and for Ireland as well. And uh, uh, precipitation-wise, still driving average, which you would expect with uh, that ridge um, dominating. So that's three weeks there. Three uh, mostly dry anti-cyclonic conditions. Can we keep it going into week five? Let's have a look. Then this is the fifth of the 12th of August. Here we go. And so, yes, we do see a bit of an anti-cyclonic trend here. Um, it's quite weak, but it is there with those areas of high pressure weekly to the north and the west of Europe. The 500 millibar height showing no change. This will be a prolonged spell of dry and you'd have thought really quite warm weather. But uh, we've got showing up here if this comes off. It's the fourth week, remember. Um, the temperature anomaly is still... Uh, a little bit above average as well. And precipitation wise, still hinting at drier than normal conditions. And then finally, we go through to week six, which will be the 12th to the 19th of August. This is it. And then we see the high pressure beginning to disappear. But it is six weeks away, so let's just put in a question mark, see what the 500 millibar heights do. They still keep the area of above average heights going. So even into the middle part of August, we might still be under 
high pressure. It could be a prolonged spell of dry and hot weather that we've got here. Although the temperature anomalies aren't excessive, with week after week after week of above average heights, we could be about to see a very marked and, uh, you know, quite dramatic pick up in the weather for the summer of 2024. The temperature anomalies are a little bit above average. Um, precipitation wise, still drier than normal. So it's an interesting one, isn't it? Da -da -da! Plot thickens after a cool and unsettled start to the summer, or first half of the summer, is the second half of the summer about to pick up a lot. Could be much drier and warm. Remember, this is what we indicated with the Gals Webby summer forecast as well. So, <laughs> this would be good news, the Gals Webby summer forecast, but we'll see. You know, it's only one model run. Might be the E7 just throwing one out there. But, um, you know, it's at least kind of five weeks there after week one of uh, high pressure domination. So, what a turn up for the books. We'll see what happens. Remember, any forecast on five, seven days it comes with big Gals warnings at the last pinches of salt attached so we'll wait and see what happens we'll be looking at this model again on tuesday for the exchange european outlook and then again next saturday for the uk and island focus video if you enjoyed the forecast please like share and subscribe we'll be back a little bit later on weekend forecast and also 10 to 14 day so i'll see you for that later but for this one that's all for now and thanks for watching